Okay, let's try this again, folks. I don't know. We've people's been saying we're blurry and different things, but we've not had it here, so I don't know. Sometimes the internet is just a little off. So let's just start all over. In case you were here five minutes ago, now you'll see again. So I've got smoked sausage in the pan, and this is in there with some avocado oil. It's got a smoke point of 500, so that's the reason I like to use it. It's, it doesn't have a taste. It doesn't change your food. So that is in there with the um, smoked sausage. It has kind of slowed down a little bit, but hopefully it will keep a good fry going. So what we're having tonight is fried green tomatoes. This came from the farmer's market. Here's the green one. This one's a little pink, but that's what green ones turn into before they go red. So we'll be frying those two tonight, and we fry red ones sometimes. But I was telling you all, someone has created a fake YouTube pet channel. The whole thing is fake. It's me holding a black coffee cup like this. He even had the nerve to post in our comments from our last night's video wanting you all to go to his post. And I have reported it to Facebook. I have reported it on here. So hopefully that won't be if you're if you're a member in our page on YouTube doesn't have subscribed to it. His does. So if you're subscribing to a Coffee Time with John and Mama YouTube page and it's got me holding a blank coffee cup, which he'll change that, it's not ours. And he's got tons of our videos and he stole them. It's not our permission. He doesn't have our permission to use them. Nothing he has we, do we represent. So please watch out for these. It's not hacked. It's just duplicated. I've reported to Facebook. We'll see if they can do anything about it. But anyhow, it's just sad that you put out content and you work on things and people just come through and steal it. And then put it out there. Oh, look what I've done. They've done nothing. They're thieves. They're no different than breaking into your shed and stealing your lawnmower or your weed eater or anything else you offer. So please, don't just unsubscribe from him. Anyway, and he, I posted that his picture and all his, what he was wanting to do on our page. You'll see the post up there. But anyhow, enough with the negative. Let's get on with the positive, which is these fried green tomatoes that we're excited about. And this smoked sausage, which we have every once in a while, and y'all have seen us do it. But I'm really excited for the fried green tomatoes because those are the star of the show. Mama's going to do them, but Mama, you want me to cut them for you? Yeah. So what are we talking here? I want to punch y'all down. Hopefully, we won't go away again. Hopefully. Hopefully, we won't be blurry. I don't see the blurry, but some of y'all have. So this, just going to cut these ends off. Some of y'all don't like my little knife. <laughs> so you don't like it. It is a good knife. It's a sharp knife. I like it. But I'm back to this big one for this project. But I do like my little orange one. So how thick you want, Mama? Half inch? Not thick. Not half an inch, no. How about that, Mom? Yeah. So we're just going to slice these up. And I'm going to go over here, and you can hand me a few, and I'll get them started. If you want to, Mama, or I will either reverse the camera, or you can bring no. your stuff right here, and you no. can show them what you're doing, because they'll be wanting to see you with your, the mix. Well, I don't have the mix. I'm just going to buttermilk and, and meal. Well, I mean, they'll be wanting to see what you're doing. Mama's trying to hide from y'all. Mama says, "You just go ahead and I'll go over here and do my part. No, Mama, you have to be over here. Now, into this kielbasa sausage, we're train, we'll be flipping back and forth here in a second. I'm going to go ahead and put my carrot shreds. These are, I bought these shredded uh, for another something we had. They were in there and I thought I'm going to go ahead and do them. And these are some peppers that I had already shredded up for something else. And I told you I would use them later. Well, there they are being used. Putting those right in there. While Mama's finishing up her project there. And then, all I'm going to do is take this little piece of Vidalia onion, because we do like a little flavor of it, and put it in here when I get through with this last green tomato, and I'll put it in there. some of the tomatoes right here on this cutting board. If you don't see and I can reach them. There you go. There's your pinkins. Okay, so all I'm going to do is just drop them in my buttermilk, and this is just plain buttermilk. Let it drip well. 
and get it picked up. Let it drip off just a little. Um, you'll have taco blue, but you're talking <coughs> over that sizzle. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me pull you close. And I'm going to sprinkle just a little salt and a little pepper on each one. Work it around in the cornmeal. Kind of coat it a little. Using my fingers. And that's all I'm going to do. And now it is coated in cornmeal. Stepping over just a little. Get my grease scattered around. In case you're wondering, that's what two tomatoes will make. That's a whole pile. That's more than we'll eat. We probably could have got by with one tomato, but we'll have some leftovers. Mm -hmm. So it's just repeat the same process. I just keep. Oops, I'm sorry, I dropped that off my fork. Kind of you didn't get me, Mama. Kind of puff some corn. What was it you told me while I go close, but you didn't get me. Close, but not the spot. A little pieces too. Don't waste nothing. Well, tomatoes this year are expensive. Yes, they are. But they're still good. They're worth every penny. I'd give up a lot for tomatoes. As time gets on, we may have to give up tomatoes and a lot of stuff. Well, let's hope not. No. I'm just, I just keep dipping in a, doing the same. So this is the dredge that we talked about the other day in the cookbook. This is a dredge. Mama's been making fried green tomatoes longer than I've been alive. Now, if, if sometimes, if we have good okra, she dices them, don't you, Mama? Yeah, and it's easier. It's much easier. You just dice them and throw them in there and use a spatula. To... These pretty kind are hard to do. The kind you get as appetizers in restaurants, those are not easy. Cutting them in the rounds, so because you got to watch them. You don't want your bread to fall off. If you have trouble with your bread and falling off, you can put it. Is it cornstarch you put in there, Mama? Yeah, and I forgot to put it in there. Yeah. Cornstarch will help hold your bread on anything else. Chicken, fish, mushrooms, anything you're breading. A little bit of cornstarch will help out the process. So into the pool goes these Vidalia onions. those down in the heat. Mama, is the lid right there? Uh, I'll set it down or out of my way. Uh, I'll, I'll get it. Get it. It's, it's down on okay. the end of the floor. I thought it was going to work. work over there. I know, you're just trying to hide from folks. I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on these because I want them to sweat it out a little bit. Where did they have one? Yeah. I want them to do their thing. So, if y'all got the gist of what Mama does. I'm going to move out of your way. No, you're not in the way. Just stay right there. Just stay right there, Mama. Don't you try to run off now. I'm going to give you more room. Oh, I'm fine. I'm going to cut this little bit of cabbage up, and I'm going to start on this romulade sauce. This, so you hang right there until I get this little bit done. This uh, skillet is small to fit on this counter. I'm not going to do the four at a time, these big slices. Four slices, and now you're going to get in there? Mm -hmm. Maybe this piece. 
Well, we got plenty of time as long as we got one or two pieces to eat. That's all we care about. We'll fry the rest of them up after. Put them in the refrigerator and have them for tomorrow. Um, be good and good for us. Now this is that cabbage that I put in this fridge smart and these are still bogo, but look, it's still just the same as it was the other day when I showed it to y'all and stuck it in there. It makes a difference, folks. I don't know the science behind it. I'm just glad to know the product that it produces. They're still bogo. I, I think they are at the moment. Mm, till you tomorrow, can check on Mama's not tomorrow, site. Till Wednesday, only. Yeah. Check on Mama's site. Whatever you see on there is what they've gone to. Sometimes they switch it. Should be Wednesday. They ain't changed it in the last day. Okay. Good. Oh, my mom reaching over. You're fine. Oops. Now y'all know how cabbage she is. Plenty and then go. It'll leave you. It will leave you. You'll have a pile, pile, pile. And then you look and it's all wilted away. Where'd that cabbage go? You'll be asking yourself. So you want to put a little extra when it comes to the cabbage patch. But now look at this cabbage. I've not even made a cut on this one yet. Look how pretty it is. It's right off the... If you just left that in there in a bag. When was that? Last week one day. Yeah. And you can hear how crunchy. Can you hear that? Stays crunchy. Can't beat that, now can you? The way this is slicing up so crunchy makes me want to have um, cabbage steaks. Cabbage. You know how I put them in the oven. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the help of hand, Mom. Mm -hmm. You all sizzle and nice together. Play nice together. Mom, you're supposed to be talking. Oh, I can't. You forget to talk, Mama. Yeah. When I work, you know, I don't talk much or... Yeah. I just work. <laughs> I think it's funny. You get on to me for talking too much. Yeah. One of us has to talk. I'm glad it's you. One of us needs to talk, Mama. Whoops, sorry. Elbow bump. Now, in a few minutes, I'll put just a drop or two of water in there. Sometimes you have to add water. And then when you salt that cabbage, it'll make the water that's in it naturally come back out. All right. So, let's go ahead and make this ramelade sauce, or this, you can call it anything you want to call it. You can see Mama's still working there in the background. This is a quick and easy sauce, especially if you've made it once. And it's delicious for dipping anything that you have, um, like mushrooms or uh, green tomatoes or fried pickles or any of that stuff. I know I told you all about fried pickles, and I will show you how to make fried pickles sometimes. Now, for this recipe, I'm going to tell you all the measurements, but I'm not going to measure. Because I don't want to, basically. And I don't want to dirty up all these measuring cups. I need a cup of mayonnaise. So you see there what a cup of mayonnaise is. So I'm just going to put a cup of mayonnaise in here. But when you fix it, you can be good little measurers and you can measure. So there is a cup of mayonnaise. This is not Duke's because I don't have any Duke's. This is uh, Kraft Real Mayo. That's what we have. That's what we use. I like Kraft Real Mayo fine. Um, sometimes you just use what you got, folks. And this is going to be a third cup of ketchup.
So you see here what a third cup of ketchup should be. Right there. So that's what I'm going to put in there. And I'm going to put all I got in this bottle. So sometimes that's just what you have to do. I know what you're thinking. But we're not going to put pickle relish in this. So it's not going to be Thousand Island. Thank you, Mom. Okay, so that's your mayo and your third ketchup cup of ketchup. This is a half, or two teaspoons of fresh lemon juice. Now, you all know my fresh lemon juice comes fresh out of this bottle right here. And I love it. And this says two teaspoons. One, two. Oh, are we running out? Yeah, out of that. I'm going to have to get another one out of the freezer. Two teaspoons of fresh lemon juice. One teaspoon of Dijon mustard. And I like French's Dijon mustard. I store it upside down so it's always ready to work. And this is going to be one teaspoon. Okay? One teaspoon Dijon mustard. One teaspoon hot sauce. Y'all know my favorite hot sauce is Frank's. That's what I use. Mama's moved the tomatoes over on the stove. So one teaspoon of hot sauce. And that's about eight shake shakes. Nine. Here's that lemon out well, thank you, Mom. Mama's got a new lemon out of their freezer, and here it is. So some of y'all said, where do you get it? It looks like this once you open it. But this is how you buy it at the store. And it's Minute Maid, and we don't get sponsored for this. We just love it. It's a good product review, and this is what we use. We love it. We try to always keep at least a box of it on hand. So now we're up to the hot sauce. Now we're up to one teaspoon Worcestershire sauce. Here's some Worcestershire sauce. And it's just one teaspoon as well. Okay, one teaspoon, and this is just uh, Liam Perrin's Worcestershire sauce. What's this here sauce? This will be a half a teaspoon of smoked paprika. Half a teaspoon. So we know from experience that if you feel that little spot in your hand, it's a teaspoon. So I'm going to put a little bit more than a half. That's smoked paprika. Um, and then kosher salt and fresh ground black pepper. This is kosher salt. And it's just a taste. And this is table, gra table ground black pepper. So I'm going to put a little bit of it in there. And then I do have some grind here to get those crunchy flakes that we like. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to grind a few in there. This is going to be a half a teaspoon of onion salt. You can use onion powder or onion salt, either one. And I'm not using a whole half a teaspoon. I can see it on there. I'm using just enough. And a little bit of parsley if you want to. And that just, if I had fresh parsley, but I'm not going to put the parsley. I've got, I've got um, a thing of parsley up there. But it just really makes everything else, all the other flavors come out a little bit. Kind of like salt does for sweets. I will use this spatula in a minute to start to finish this off, but I'm going to whip it good with this metal. Excuse that little bit of noise. It kind of takes on the color of Thousand Island. 
But you don't put pickle relish in this. And it's got a lot of other ingredients Thousand Island doesn't have too. So that is what we end up with. I want to give it a little taste just to see if there's anything I should add. Nope. It's not too hot. It's got a good flavor to it. All that will marry up a little bit better. And it'll be even better in just a little while. So, there it is. The delicious Ramelade. For our dipping sauce. For our green tomatoes. Mama, you've got some already poured up, I see. Poured up. I'm fixing to pour up. She's done, uh, got some ready to eat yet. This is not a must, and we eat them for years without it. I tried it a couple years ago with it. Actually, I went to a restaurant and ordered some fried green tomatoes as an appetizer, and it had a wonderful pinky-looking sauce with it. And I said, what kind of sauce is this? And she said, it's house sauce. Oh, well, that don't tell me anything. And then I said, well, what would I do at home to make this house sauce? And she said it's more of a ramelade sauce. So I took the ramelade recipe and kind of made my own little tweaks to it. This is not the way you're supposed to store these cups. No, it's not. <laughs> Mama's calling me out. Mama, I'll pick some runt. How about the, well, <laughs> see why I was going to skip it. But they fit in the drawer awful nicely that way, don't the mama? Yeah. So there it is, folks, and it's very good. You can't even see it in that yellow bowl. Mama, do you want to taste this? See if you look like it, you're going to wait. I'll wait. She said she just wait on that mess. Let me move y'all. So you can see more of what's going on in there. There we go. So there, let's see what's going on in the big kettle, Mama. Oh, the cool. cabbage is sort of, sort of done what it's supposed to be doing. Let's turn everything over. Look at that beautiful bright green cabbage. The peppers are softened, the carrots are even softened. Everything's looking good. Let's see what it looks like down the bottom. <laughs> Can you see you though? I think it's funny, Mom. Chop your head off. I know. Mmm. Look a here, look a here. This is so good. I love the smell of this. I'm not even going to say which we had smell of vision, but I do. Look at those brown, beautiful brown smoked sausages. They're just I'll perfect. Mm. This is a relatively healthy meal. I don't know how healthy smoked sausages are in the big picture. But I do know tons of cabbage and peppers and carrots aren't horrible for you. And we're going to let this go. Mom, I'm gonna, if you're off this burner, I'm going to turn it off. No, it, this is not, it doesn't heat like a stove heats. Well, with that other big burner on it. Yeah. But it's still awful handy. We appreciate yes, it. Yes, it sure is. We appreciate it. Mama gets to stand over here more than she does at the, at the stove, and that was the whole point of getting one. We have a smaller one that's two burners that we've had. We used to have when we had a camper. Um, might try it sometimes, see what it does. But 
This one it's is, a it's a 110 also. We need to really get terribly hot either. But there it is, folks. I'm turning all this up over. Letting the bottom come to the... And you just get back in the pool, little smoked sausage. We weren't ready for you to jump out. This is going to be delicious. I love a good stir fry, cabbage, and, and sausage and stuff like this for, um, for supper. It's filling. It's delicious. Now, I haven't put any seasoning in here yet. Let me get salt and pepper. Mama, you want to show them your tomatoes? So let me put a little salt in here. This will help to sweat this out. We're about out of pepper in here, Mama. I've let us get plumbed down. Uh-oh. Whoa, did you see that big... Well, Mama, I dumped half a box of salt in there. Does that count as a lot? I think so. Does that count as a lot, having a lot of salt in something? If you dumped a lot in, it counts as a lot. Well, sure it does. Here's some of the tomatoes. There. Show them right there. They can see. This is my first batch of tomatoes fried up there. They can see those. Can they see them, John? Yes, they can see that. Yeah, that's I'm trying to rescue this salt shaker. Oh, you poured it all in one spot? Well, they dumped out there. I was trying to get the pepper and the salt, so let me jump. So it jumped. I got the salt back out, folks. Would have set that mess right over there. All right. This may be easier to stir with. I think it'll have plenty of salt because I did get most of that back out though. Let me get some pepper. I was trying to scrounge that pepper out of that box when I got pepper right here. Why didn't I just come over here and get this? We live, we learn. I like lots of black pepper. In case you didn't know that, I think everybody does. Not so much salt, but like black pepper. I may have taken all the salt out. Now we're just going to let that do its thing right there. Let it steam. Put this mayonnaise back up. Oh, was you going to do cornbread too, Mama? I was talking about it because I ain't put it on. You want some cornbread? You can put cornbread on if you want to. Okay. We got a minute. This can set up in the top now because it needs to thaw out. You want? The tomatoes will be out. Well, we've got bread on those tomatoes. We don't need any more bread, really. We're good with that. Uh, Alexa's telling you something, Mama. Water flowers. Water flowers, okay. Y'all, we, we water flowers every day here. We did yesterday because guess what? We were blessed with abundant showers of rain. It rained. Hard. Probably. I don't know. But I'm going to say a good inch, maybe more. It rained hard. Fast. It was almost a little storm. Oh, it thundered. It thundered, but it wasn't too bad. It wasn't a lot of wind, and it was nice. But uh, we were happy to get the rain because when you can't remember when it rained last, it's been a minute since you've had some rain. We use a lot of water, water and flowers. But we gave it a break last night. In fact... After the rain quit, I went outside and uh, some of the tomatoes were holding water and I had to uh, pour water out of them because uh, it certainly hadn't rained enough to hold water before yesterday. Okay, 
let's talk a while. Let me see what you all are saying. Y'all may be saying, John, you put too much salt. Turn handle to the back burner for safety. This, yeah. Yeah. You're right. I've turned it. Mama and I sometimes forget rules because we don't have children here. But then sometimes when we do have children here, we're nervous because we may not have forgot the rules. That rain moved right over us, did it, Sean? I hate that. Bobby says something. I don't know who you're talking, Eleanor Davis. I don't know what Eleanor. I think Eleanor's wanting to tell me about the handle. Bobby, she's right. I should have done that. Now, Mama would have done it. She's more instinctive into that. I try to remember, but whew, my mind just drifts away. Look at these green, lovely tomatoes. Now, folks, that's a picture right there. If you know what these taste like, you know what goodness that is. Absolutely delicious. Mama's going to have those. We was going to do cornbread. Well... I said we was going to do cornbread. We talked about it when we had these tomatoes. Mama found that pink one yesterday and she said, now these tomatoes are getting pink. We're going to have to fry them or we're going to lose them. I said, well, we will fry them. The answer to that is we will fry them. I'm going to try this little one. Dip it in this ramenade. Yes, ma'am. Mama, you stole the fish rag. Right. We're getting some heat going here. It's starting to puff up. I'm going to clean off my salt and pepper shake. Mm -hmm. And then you can have your bite. I'll re-wet it if you'd like. No, it's good. I'll just use it to wipe this counter down where I... Spilled just a drop of that sauce. Spilt just a drop. Folks, that's not too hot. Now, if it was just going to be for me, and it may end up being just for me, if Mama says, uh-uh, I may crank up the Franks. Put a little bit more hot heat to it. Uh, we are now receiving rain. Oh, good. Whoever's getting it. Thank the Lord for it. In Texas, Susan Good. <laughs> if you have any extra, send it back up here. We can use a little dose more. I'm sure we're not up to where we need to be because we've, we've been pretty dry. Our yard was getting brown. We hadn't mowed in two weeks. We normally mow over 10 days, but we hadn't even mowed. Uh, we love green tomatoes. You look delicious. Well, thank you, Miss... Uh, Nancy, Mama's is always spot on. They're always delicious. I don't care if she chops them up and fries them or if she does the rings, the round circles, they're delicious every time. What does she coat the tomatoes with to fry? Tina, I don't know. Um, cornmeal and cornstarch. Corn cornstarch and flour? Uh, no. No. Okay, just cornmeal and cornstarch. Um, I've made when I make the red ones, I use flour, cornmeal, red pepper flakes, a little bit of ranch for my red fried tomatoes. But now, Mama, this is just the old-fashioned way to do them: cornmeal, cornstarch, salt, pepper. Is that it, Mama? Yeah, I dip them in buttermilk. Dip them in buttermilk first, salt. and that makes perfect fried green tomatoes. What's wrong with the puppy? Judy, she she uh, she used yeah. to be a rambler. And the plate. The plate. Oh, sorry. Uh, she used to be a rambler and you couldn't keep her in one spot. Well, Mama took her out one day like we always had. We hadn't had her long. We rescued her. So, we had 
she'd been here and, and I don't know if she just went looking, but she would take these spells. You could take her out 15 times. She'd go out, stay in the yard. You could watch her. We never let her out by herself. And uh, she'd take a spell to want to run. Go to the neighbors. Go down the road. Go down the field. You just have to, and you have to go after her. And uh, so even though I had never walked her between my house and Mama's house for that reason, she went to my house from here. I, now I've got a house around the corner. And um, Mama took her out and she took off on one of her little tangents. Mama was trying to get her and trying to holler at her and she kept running and going up the road. So Mama, of course, ran in to get her car keys to go fetch the baby. And as she was coming out to get to the car, the, my neighbor came and said, your dog got hit over on the road. And she ran onto John's porch. So Mama calls me, panicked, scared to death. I leave work. I rush home. She's up under the bench and um, didn't seem to be hurt too bad. Just kind of just laying there looking. And um, when we got her out, she her leg was broke. And um, she had, her, it hit her jaw. I don't think it hit her. Uh, it ran over her. I think it just hit her. And maybe she stuck her leg up there in her face. And it hit maybe the bumper or something hit her. Anyway, it didn't kill her. And, um, of course, grabbed her up, took her to the vet. They said, maybe you should consider putting her down. I said, if she's not in pain, you know. And she said, oh, she's in pain. And I said, can we give her medicine for the pain? She said, well, we'll try it. So we certainly did. There they are, folks, all done up. You can't tell the pinkin' from the green one now. Look at that, how beautiful. And uh, long story short, she gave her some meds, and we brought her home. I ended up having to um, take a t-shirt and cut the bottom of it off, put it under her, and hold her up for her to walk. And um, she was fine once you got her up walking her a little bit, but she didn't want to this mama. No. And we would walk her around the yard and keep her muscles going. We keep and that medicine in her. Feeding wet her lips and stuff for two or three days with yeah, the shrimp. It was so. bad, folks. But anyway, she survived. She did well. And she walked on that leg. And they, she took care of the leg so it would heal. She walked on that leg. Well, fast forward about six, eight months later, she started favoring it, limping. So I took her back to the vet and they said it had built up arthritis where it had been broken. So she has medicine. I can tell when she's really in pain. And if she's really wanting to chase the UPS guy or if she's really wanting something, she'll use it. It's just I think she favors it and she's gotten so used to it that she don't. But uh, she's fine. And it hasn't really slowed her down that much. She can get from A to B in a hurry. But it has kept her from roaming. She don't want to run over the hill anymore. And then two years ago, a coyote bit her. Like and we had that episode. We just let her out. Mama had just let her out, and it was just dusky evening. And uh, Mama stepped back in here for something. And she was out, we figure, six minutes. And when we figured up how long, because Mama knew at 8 o'clock she'd let her out. And it was when Mama brought her back in, it was about 5 after or 6 after. And, and you uh, said she's too fat from the pig. I think she was. They no. tried twice. Um, like and then bad she, in two places, bit her twice. She just came in and laid down under the piano being like she always does. Mama but hollered for her. She was pouting at me, I thought. Oh, she was just scared to death from the attack. Mama right. probably saved her life by hollering for her because the coyote probably ran off. But she came in and then when I went to take her out an hour later, I seen the poor she had been bitten. And then, of course, that was another vet, vet episode. And she got shots and all that good stuff but she survived that maggie's a survivor now she came to us uh, under extreme circumstances bless her heart so she's just a survivor and we love her better than anything and she's the queen of the farm she rules the roost she lets mama live here yeah 
when she wants to. <laughs> oh, I love it. Uh, coyotes will come right in the yard. This one this did. Bitch, this one was right. Maggie was just in her yard doing her business, and um, Mama stepped back. And, so now Maggie's what she's monitored at all times. Um, coyotes are worse between. Um, I think it's November to February. This was in January. Right? I think it was January. Yeah. Yeah, the same dishes this corner wear from 1950. Yeah, no, they ain't hardly that old. They last. We've got some gray that my granny had, and we got this blue that Mama had, and then we got those burgundy ones that just oh, it's they came from somewhere. It was just a set of dishes. Are you ready to eat, Mama? Well, I guess. Without... So let me get a little spoon here for this rumelade. You want one of those jelly spoons or soup spoons over there? I can just use anything, Mom. Do you want a specific one? It just smells like it. All right. Get what you want. I don't want to use the improper spoon and embarrass you in front of all your friends. Oh, well, this right here would work and dip out. That's my long handled measure. This is the measuring spoon. But it'll work wonderfully. What I like about these little bows, I can just put a lid on it and put it in the refrigerator and we'll have it for another time. Mmm, magic. The, the, um, put that out there if you don't care. The, um, look there. Mmm, mmm, mmm. The magic has happened with the cabbage, the smoked sausage, the the uh, peppers. My mom will go ahead and dip you out a big old portion. No, not a big portion. Here, I'll give paper towels to you because I forgot to get napkins from that beyond. Well, Mama, we can use paper towels or... Anything. Is that too big a portion? That's all right for right now. For right now? You sure? Yeah. Okay, Mom. You want this big old perfect one? Uh, those thinner ones. I'm picky. Mama's not a bit picky. I'm not a bit picky, but I am picky. Mama, you ain't picky. Oh, You're yeah. just a woman that knows what she wants. Well, then I'll take the big, thick, perfect one. Look what Mama passed up for that little thin one. Now, Mama, I know you probably don't want none of this. I'll take a little on the side. All right. I was don't hoping you'd try. Don't put it on my tomato. I want Mama right here. I'll give you a little dipping sauce. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to put mine right on there because I know what I mine know is. How you, I know how you're going to do it. reason I said don't put it on Don't there. touch my food with that mess. That's what you meant, wasn't it, Mama? Mm -hmm. All right, let's look at these plates. There's fried green tomato with that ramelade sauce on it. And look at that beautiful. Now, we could have had cornbread, but we got bread down here. And we don't always have to have bread, do we, Mama? No. Let's bless it and eat it. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this day. We thank you for this food. We thank you for these precious hands that prepared it. And Lord, we just thank you for the nourishment of our body. We just ask you to bless us and be with us. And Dear Lord, as we go through this world, we just ask for a hedge of protection about us. And Dear Lord, each and every prayer request that's been turned in, whether it's spoken or unspoken, we just ask you to bless it and heal it and do all things in your will and your glory. In your name we pray. Amen. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mama, let's give it a try. We've got some leftover cornbread. But it ain't fruit. Do you want some leftover cornbread? We do have no. some. I don't have that bread. No. Oh, this is a pink one. That's the pink one? Mm-hmm. You want a green one? Does the pink taste any different? Not really. Just a little. It ain't ripe enough to... This is the green. 
That's perfection, Mama. You may find you a green one. No, I'm still eating on this. Well, you can mix and match, Mama. That's green. That's all right. You it's, sure? Yeah. Now let's try this cabbage. See how this cabbage? It didn't fry and brown. It just steamed and got soft and tender. Very good. Not too salty, so I did get most of that salt out of there. And all I did was put salt and pepper. But another thing went in it. If I was making it, if Mama, I would probably put a little hot sauce in it, but I could add it on my plate if I want to. That's a good supper, Mama. Mm -hmm. Tons of fresh vegetables. A little bit of meat. And wonderful. Green tomatoes fried with this delicious sauce. Folks, this is an easy, simple supper. It's one we look forward to is the first fried green tomatoes. We'll have more green tomatoes as the season goes on because, you know, tomatoes will bear for quite a while. And we'll buy, uh, if we go to the tomato festival or if we go to the produce place, we'll buy green tomatoes a lot of times just so we'll have them. They're turning right quick though. They are. Ah. Well, Mama, your lap caught that. So what do you think about the sauce? I saw you dip a little bit. It's good. It's not too hot. It's not hot, is it? Mm -mm. It's a good dipping sauce. That sauce can be used for green tomatoes, of course. You can use it when you, um, what is it they call it, tempura, the, when you coat any vegetable. Um, it's good on cauliflower when you roast it, too. It's just a good go-to sauce. And like I said, once you make it once, it's so easy to make. You'll be making it again. Mmm. Oh, you got a few more over there? Yeah. You can always add a little um, Cajun seasoning in it. Um, fix it however you want it. It's all up to you. Um, but you can always add a little bit more flavor in it. If you like garlic powder and it doesn't bother you, or you could put minced garlic in it. I don't really want the garlic flavor in this, though. No, I wouldn't. <clears throat> I just like it. Just a mild flavor with some good seasoning for those tomatoes. Garlic would dominate too much of it. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to have the garlic. I don't. I like garlic. I'm about to determine I'm not allergic to garlic. That I'm just allergic to the powder. Whatever makes it makes it stable or whatever they use. Mmm. Whoever came up with fried green tomatoes told us to fry them. You know, I can't believe these two people grew tomatoes like flowers around their house. It was just for decoration. They wouldn't even eat them. They thought they were poison. You just wonder who ate the first tomato to get it. Passed. Yeah, say that's all right. No. I don't know who, who broke the rules. Probably was the Davis, because that was definitely a rule breaker. <laughs> Can you imagine a world without tomatoes? Now you may say, I could live without tomatoes. Could you live without pizza? Could you live without spaghetti, chili? Goulash, soup, all those things. You gotta have your tomatoes. It'd be a it'd be a different world in our house because about everything we cook is good tomatoes. Even breakfast, um, we use tomatoes not for breakfast. That looks so good, Mama. It does. It tastes good too. Who said that? It tastes good too, Lou. 
I love the little shredded carrots in the cabbage better than thicker pieces. The recipe for the sauce that I just used, you want me to read it to y'all? You get a pen and a paper, and I will go over it one more time. Maybe a while before it gets posted. I think I've posted one recipe before. I don't think this is the recipe I used the last time. I use a lot of tomatoes, Donna. Yeah, we do tons of tomatoes. We love them. So this is <clears throat> for fried green tomatoes. It's called uh, Ramalot Comeback Sauce. I got this. This came off the internet the last time I made it. So this is what I used, but I changed a few things on it. So what I used tonight was one cup of mayonnaise, your choice. One third cup of ketchup, two tablespoons of fresh lemon juice or Minute Maid lemon juice, which worked wonderfully, one teaspoon of Dijon mustard, one teaspoon of hot sauce, one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, a half a teaspoon of smoked paprika. I use a little bit more. Kosher salt and fresh ground black pepper to taste. Parsley if you want it. I didn't use it tonight. And a half a teaspoon of onion powder or salt. I used the salt so I didn't quite use that much. And that's what's in there. Uh, I didn't use the parsley but everything else is in there. If you like Thousand Island dressing you probably would like this even though it didn't taste like it. It's got its own little flavor, but it's got the mayonnaise ketchup base. And you could use this on a salad. It's it's that kind of dressing. You make the little food look so tasty. Well, thank you, Patricia. I love tomatoes, ripe, fried, green, yum. Yes. Who said that? Um, um, Marlene. Marlena. Rebecca. Historically, the acid and the tomatoes were acted to the pewter in their plates and made people really sick. Well, that makes sense, Rebecca. Um, so that makes a lot of sense, and that's the reason they probably thought it was poisonous. Well, there you go. That's a little bit of knowledge burst. I love it. Rose, can you make milk gravy for a dipping sauce for your tomatoes? You mean like breakfast grape? Crabby. Um, that may be good. I don't know. I, a lot of people eat sliced tomatoes with, with gravy. With gravy. But that's one way I don't like them is with gravy. If I have gravy for breakfast, then I don't have red tomatoes. <laughs> but if I have scrambled eggs and biscuits, then red tomatoes is my gravy. That's what I use. Uh, hello from Michigan. Hey, Ann. I love V8 juice. V8 juice is good, Michael Flynn. Um, I like V8 juice too. Sometimes I use V8 juice in soups too. Yeah. How do you make the canned dish? Sandy, I'm not sure. Sandy Wilson says, how do you make the canned dish? I don't know what you're talking about, Sandy. Ask, ask me something. Give me some more information. Hi, John and Mama. I love the fried green tomatoes. Thank you, Mar uh, Maria. Oh, I've got to cancel whatever that was. Thank you, Maria. Uh, I'm allergic to homegrown tomatoes. In Georgia, I break out in a rash. I guess it's the red clay. Tanya, can you eat tomatoes from other places besides Georgia? My mom canned green tomatoes. Debbie, um, Mama, did you can them before? No, my sisters have them. Mama's sisters canned them. I never have canned them. I would can them, though. I would try it. 
I missed the rest of the ingredients in the cabbage and sausage. Wendy? Wendy Wyatt? It was just um, smoked sausage. And I put some already pre cut up carrots that were the little matchstick that I bought in a bag already like that. I put some sweet, those little mini peppers that I had uh, Shred. shredded up or, you know, diced, sliced really thin. And um, it's got, and then I put the cabbage and I put it in um, avocado oil, which there's no flavor to and that. And a little bit of a day onion. And a little bit of a day onion, just a little bit because mama didn't like it. And I did dice it up so it would just kind of flavor but not get an overpowering bite of it. Uh, Linda says, one teaspoon of Dijon mustard. I think, I think Linda just put that on the recipe on there, Linda. Thank you, Linda Conwell. I think she was she wrote it down and put it on there. I love the taste of the ripe juicy tomatoes. Now I do fry the red tomatoes as well. You need a red firm tomato, but it can be ripe. And um, we love we Mama and I both love cooked red tomatoes. That any way you fix them, we love them on pizza. We love them just roasted. But I will fry them. And what I do is I put half a cup of cornmeal, half a cup of flour, a little bit of cornstarch, just to get it to hold. And I put some red cayenne pepper. And I put a um, couple teaspoons of ranch, like a package of ranch. Dry mix. Mix, dip the dry. And I put that and make my dredge. And then I just use buttermilk and um, slice my red tomatoes thicker. And then I put them in the buttermilk and I put them in that dredge and get them good and brown. And then I fry them just like Mama did the green ones. And then on top of them, after you turn them mm -hmm. the first time, because you're only going to turn them once, then I will put jalapenos on top of those and then put mozzarella cheese. Let that melt. That's delicious. Uh, if you don't want the hot, the, you can put Parmesan cheese. That's delicious. You can put bacon. And cheddar cheese is good on them, isn't it, Mama? Mm. I think bacon cheddar is your favorite, isn't it? Yeah, I don't like bacon hot like that. Mama don't like the hot, but she does like the Parmesan cheese. Mama likes them just red with Parmesan cheese bacon or mozzarella cheese. Bacon and bacon or broil them, what do you call it? Yeah, with no, with no bready. But um, the bready ones, she likes the mozzarella cheese on them. Just mozzarella cheese. Or you can just eat them plain, just like the green tomatoes. You don't have to have any topping on them. That's just all. But you can make a whole meal out of them. Uh, and they're delicious. They're absolutely delicious. I'll make them one evening. Green tomatoes, pickles are really good. Canned. I bet they are. Green tomatoes and pickles. Hey, Nancy. Thanks for jumping on. Hey, Sissy. I enjoy uh, online um, tomatoes. I love tomatoes, too. It's it is good. It's a delicious meal, folks. That's all we got to cook. We've been we've had y'all in here at seven thirty. No, yeah. we kept them on here at the night. Somebody's talked a lot, have not they? And somebody won't hardly say a word even when they're right on the camera. She's eating like crazy. <laughs> I was hungry and I thought. <laughs> Mama gives me the talking. I know some of y'all was like, Mama needs to do this or Mama just does what Mama wants to do. She don't, she don't mind sitting here with y'all. She loves y'all, uh, but she don't want to be left alone with the camera. She don't like to do a lot of talking, and um, she mills around. But now that's what Mama wants to do. I know people when I will say, cook, "I have to move. I can't stand still." When I cook, I normally when I'm cooking, and I'm not filming. I'm over at the stove, and we're running around here. Um, but I usually sit here. Mama sits there, and you can see the height. You seen a while ago when I was sitting there. There's no way you can film. If you've never filmed yourself cooking, try it. Uh, it's harder than you think to get everybody to see what you're cooking, to see you when you're talking, to see everybody. You need a film person. If we had a camera crew, we could just do our I thing. I should have had one more child. Yeah, I probably wouldn't have liked them, Mama. <laughs> 
but it's harder to do than you might think. Uh, <laughs> but we drew the best we can with it. We're not professionals, and we don't oh, script sure it. We don't plan it. As you can see, we're moving around here trying to get everything just so so. But uh, when I eat, I drop cabbage in my lap two times tonight. Good. <laughs> We're just who we are. We just want to share our time with you. Um, I know a lot of y'all have lots of opinions what we do wrong sometimes, and that's fine. But uh, it's just what we do. And uh, everybody's going to do things different. I learned early on in life, you can't please everybody all the time. If you just please yourself and the Lord, um, everything else will probably fit in. And I also learned... And Mama has really taught me this. Just because we do it a certain way don't make it the only way. There's no. tons of ways to do everything. And uh, we may make fried green tomatoes like this, and some of y'all may say, I've never heard of that mess. That's fine. You all probably make them a different way, and they're probably delicious. Um, I know I've got Mama's sisters. Some of them do things different, and I like the way they do it, and I like their food. Um, um, you know, you just it's just what you've learned. It's just what you pass down. Uh, I have even thought there was only one way to do stuff before. Somebody else shows me the way they do it, and I think, gosh, that's a lot better than what we do. And Mama and I, are, well, something y'all told us the other day, and we started, we changed and started cutting doing stuff too. Cutting the peppers from the cutting inside. The from the inside. Yeah. The stuff in the yeah, we learn. We're not, we're not teachers. We're just showing you what we do. I've always was taught. If you don't learn something new every day, it's been wasted. So you try to learn something new every, every day. day. So the day ain't wasted. And just let people be people. Let people do what they want to do. It's life. You just got to go on. Do what you can do and go on. That's right. Thank you, Greta. We, we are just us. We're just real people. We're just like you all. You know, and people will see us out in the stores, and they'll come up and they'll say, oh, we just, you know, it thrills us to meet you all, and you all are famous. We're not famous. We're just people with a Facebook page. And uh, we're just like you all. We're thrilled to meet you all. So, uh, you know, when we're out and about, uh, if you see us, we say hey. Um, we've had several people see us out, and they'll say, oh, we watch you all. We're so glad to have you. Uh, yeah. It means a lot to us. Uh, but we're definitely not famous, and we're definitely not uh, anything. What else have we been called, Mama? Celebrities. Celebrities. Yes, oh, sure. Lord. We're definitely not celebrities. Uh, we're just us. Just plain old people doing plain old things and just turning on the camera. If so, we walked uh, in the door, it'd be just like we are right now. <laughs> when we have guests come here, and, and they, uh, if they've been here before when we didn't film, you know, they say, Y'all are just like you are. Uh, when we've been there, I'm like, that's what we want to be. And then when they come in and they film with us, they say, I forgot we were filming. It was just like, I said, that's what it's supposed to be. Because we're just real people doing real things and sharing with y'all. We just love it. We love you all. We used to pre record everything and upload it. And then we decided we'd try lives. And now I we can't. I didn't want to at all. No, Mama said, I'm doing that. I make enough mistakes with that. <laughs> and now when we do a, something pre-recorded, we miss y'all, and I'm looking for y'all, and it just ain't the same. So we just do it. So we make mistakes, and we do all kinds of stuff, but it's just the way it, that's just life. It is just life. That's what I've always told you. Take the mistakes with it. That's how you learn. That's the good stuff, ain't it? Mama, you got anything else you want to add? No, I'm full. I've eaten. Do I have chores to do? Do I have flowers to water? We'll need to go check, see how moist they are before we start watering. We don't want them to get too wet oh. or they've been too dry. Yeah, you want to ease it on them. We do have some new stuff coming out for the Etsy page. Some new products. I'm kind of excited about them. Teresa has outdone herself. And we'll be showing those to y'all. And... Uh, this is the last Wednesday of the month, so we will be coming back with some uh, wrap-up Tupperware stuff. But we'll put Tupperware in the title, because I know some of y'all don't want it. And you don't like to listen to it, and that's understandable. You just pick and choose what you do like. And uh, But I always put it in the title. So uh, we will we will uh, come back with that before Wednesday to show you the last-minute stuff. And uh, then the Etsy products, I just love them. Uh, and... Uh, 
Can I show them all? I don't know. I don't have the prices and stuff, and I don't think they're on there yet. They're not on there. It's a new coffee mug, and they're not on there yet. But look at this one. This is the white with the black inside. I'm not supposed to show y'all, but I'm going to because I'm just that way. And it's got our logo on the front. Coffee time, and look here on the back. I love it. I love it. Look at that. God bless America, land that I love. Yes. And when you're holding it, that's what's showing. So you'll be seeing me use these a lot. And uh, there's some new tumblers, and they're in different colors. And we're just excited. And you're in trouble. I'm in trouble. <laughs> just don't tell nobody. But they will be on our Etsy page soon. They're not on there yet. So don't say, where is that cup? Because there's a whole, a whole group of Americana stuff coming. And uh, Teresa's going to give me the word. Don't tell Teresa on me. Just don't tell yet. But I had to show you I just love it. I told Mama, I want to drink out that new cup tonight. I got my regular. It's so and Somebody lovely. said the other day I stole Mama's red cup. Mama, tell him. No, that's his. I bought one just for me. He said, everybody, every time I use your cup, said they are saying something. said, I'm going to order me a red cup now. So and I, I ordered can... <laughs> several of them so I could have the red ones. Uh, I use the white one a lot of times. I don't care the color, black, white, red. Um, it's a good cup. It's a good amount, and I love the handle. I, I, have, I love these handles that are shaped like this. It's perfect for my hands. I love them. But the new stuff will be out. We'll show you more. I can't wait to show you everything. I probably will get in trouble. Uh -huh. Folks, we're going to say good night before I get more trouble. More and more. And you all have a wonderful night. Be blessed. It's still daylight. The sun's shining. And it is only... 70. Eight, 80. 80. 72. I, I can't oh, see it no I used to be able to see it from here. New glasses. Your eyesight. Your eyesight. 82. 82. I knew that was the 8, but I didn't know what the next one was. It's only 82 degrees. We can tolerate that. So there's some porch time coming. I'm taking Maggie out. Let her lay out there in the grass and survey her domain. She likes to do that. She laid out there earlier and got a little too warm and had to come in. And uh, it'll be cooling down and she can lay out there in the grass and she loves that. And uh, we'll check them flyers. You check your flyers and hopefully you're going to get some rain. And anybody who's got any extra rain, if you got all you need, send some more back up here to northeast Tennessee. We could use another drop or two. Uh, Several more drops. <laughs> yeah, we could use a little bit more. But we did get a plenty yesterday and it was wonderful. We thank the Lord for every drop of and it. And if they're wondering what's for supper tomorrow night... It's going to be this right here. Left up. Mama, we might have something different tomorrow night. I may take that for lunch. That's a lot for lunch. <laughs> Say good night, Mama. Good night, Mama, and God bless you all. You all have a blessed night.